My name is Richard Wilkinson and this is my discussion on if the concept of Western civilization is relevant or not today. The professor gave us some articles looking at the question from different viewpoints. We have Bradley Berzier who says it started, the concept started at the Battle of Thermopylae. Robert Royal says Western civilization is uh, really from the Germanic tribes in Northwestern Europe, but influenced by the Greeks and Romans. Lawrence Birkin says that's from the Greeks and Romans coming through and the um, Byzantines and the Muslims. Alexander uh, Rosenthal Pubel also goes back to the Greeks and Romans and their ideas on freedom and liberty. Henry Appiah says they're not Western. These ideas of Greek, um, liberty and freedom, democracy aren't Western at all. They can be found all over the world. Hennon says that these are come mostly from the English. And I think for me, I'm going to argue that Western civilization is relevant. And it's relevant because these concepts of liberty, freedom, rule of law, democracy, freedom of speech, freedom of religion really do come from the West. And I won't say I'm well versed in all aspects of history. I've studied, I've taught world history for a number of years. And I hadn't seen those concepts in other countries until they come in contact with the English, with the Europeans. But we can see, as Hainan points out, that these concepts don't really flourish except for in the English-speaking world. The French have the Enlightenment, they come up with a lot of them, but those concepts of Montesquieu, Rousseau, Rousseau um, Voltaire, they don't last in France. Even with the French Revolution, it turned into a monarchy again, or a despotism under Napoleon, and then a monarchy. So it's really in the English world that these ideals exist, and it's the English world that causes them to change. Um, we also see them coming from Christianity. You know, if you want a really great book on that, it's Vincent Broderick's is Why This Water is talking about the King James Version, but how the American Revolution, as Hannon kind of argues as well in his book, comes because people want to be equal. The English or the colonists don't want to be subject to Parliament. They want to be equal to Parliament. They don't want to be under them. And that concept, that idea, is a Christian idea coming from the Bible and the idea that all men are created equal. All men are children of God. And so I think Western civilization is relevant today. If we define it as where these ideas of freedom, of religion, freedom of speech, democracy, rule of law have evolved. And as we look at history, it's hard from my understanding of history to see it any other way, that these things came from the West. And so Western civilization becomes then not about clothing, suits, t-shirts, jeans, or food, or TV. These, that's culture, which is important, and it is being exported all over, but it, it's these ideas that make Western civilization really relevant. And it's kind of good and sad that the West is being persecuted because of their lack of following those ideals with slavery and inequality, racism. But when we look at the world as a total, in, as a whole, look at all of the countries, the West is what gave us those ideals. And we definitely need to work at living up to them and trying to find a way to make them work in our culture and in our civilization. But we can only do that because of the West, that they gave them to us. And once we start to understand them better and where they came from, then we can start to apply them more. And that will make them more relevant and make Western civilization more relevant to not just the West or the English speaking world, but to the whole world as they see how they can adapt these principles to them and their situations. Thank you.